Hey guys, this is Naresh. So today in this video, we will learn how to take screenshots in our mobile. So if you know that in our last video, we have seen how to switch between a different application. So this is the same program. If, if you have not uh, gone through my previous video, please look into that where we are switching the application and we are printing something. We are printing a text from that different application. Okay. But le let's say I have a requirement that uh, if I go into this application, and after that, I need to switch to my other application, which is Wiser. And I need to take a screenshot of this. So how will I do that? But why we require to take a screenshot? Because it might possible that uh, when you are comparing something, something is not working correctly. At that point of time, you take a screenshot. Okay. Or maybe for some year of information, you are taking the screenshot because you want to make sure everything is going fine. Uh, because uh, maybe you are running uh, these, uh, these scripts through Jenkins. And at the end of the day, you want to know that what are the screenshots are there for your application so that you can verify its UI. Okay, not the functional testing because that will already be verified. So for that, what you can do, if you want to take a screenshot, if you remember, we have one video in Selenium when we were taking a screenshot of a screen, right? So we will use the same concept here. And uh, because uh, APM is extending the Selenium, so its command will remain exactly same. So let me show you. So what we will do here, we will store the screenshot in a file. So I will create an object of a file. Okay. And then you know that for screenshot, I have to do driver. I have to pass driver in that. Then I need to cast it. So don't worry about the casting. I have explained to you earlier in the Selenium, but I can explain again. So it's take screenshot. Okay. Let's take screenshot and I am casting it. All right. So let me see if it's giving any import error. Uh, change to screenshot APM text package. Change to text screenshot Selenium. Okay. Do that. All right. Now what we have to do, we have to call its method, which is called get screenshot S. Okay, and once we do that, we have to give the that it is of a file type. So I will give output dot wait huh? output type output type dot file. Okay, so I want to get the screenshot in a file format. So here I will get the screenshot in a file format. And now what I will do, I will, you know, convert this file format into a JPG format. So for that, I will do file utils dot copy. There should be a message method called file. And in that I need to give this object which I've created. That is my file. And I can give new file and here I need to give a path and the name of my so I will give here screen dot PN, png or jpg so let me give jpg okay see what I'm doing right now uh, I am calling get screenshot method and I need to cast my driver so let's run that then I will explain you that why I have casted it okay so let's run our program and we will just open our visor here. All right, let me go back and our APM here and we will run this. Okay, run test ng test. So if this is open and this is open. Okay, now let's see. So my server is running. Okay. It has opened first application, second application. It may be taking a screenshot. Okay. Come back to the first application and program will get over. Okay. Let's see. Okay. So test case has been passed. All right. So it says test is next and this this, this. Everything is going correctly, but we cannot see any screenshot here because we have not given any path here, right? So it should go to this folder if we are not giving any path. So I will just do a right click and refresh. Okay. And if you see here, screen.jpg is there. Okay. 
so I can do open with uh, okay let, let me just copy this part and let's open it somewhere see this has taken the screenshot of the screen where we have mentioned all right so this is the screenshot now what else okay I want to just explain a bit about this screenshot so even though I have explained earlier in the selenium series which you can see there are around 75 videos for selenium series but let's look into this so what we are doing here now we are calling get screenshot method so why we, there is a need for you know to cast the get screenshot method for that we are casting driver but why there is a need for that so see what driver is if you see here driver is this one okay so we have created an object of Android driver but in Android driver there is no method which is get screenshot s okay so get screenshot s is a method which has been defined in this interface so we have not implemented you know this method is not implemented in this interface so if I show you this interface because I have already installed decompiler you can see my video which to install the decompiler I can see the details of that so this is an interface take screenshot okay in interface okay we are just meant we are just giving the method name and its type we are not giving any implementation okay and where it has been implemented so this get screenshot method has been implemented in a class called remote web driver okay so if I show you open implementation because once I go into a remote web driver, then it will be more clear to you. Wait, huh? not remote web element. So there can be more than one implementation of one interface, but we will specifically go to remote web drive, remote web driver. Wait. So where it is? Event. Uh, okay, here it is. Remote web driver. See, this is a method get screenshot s, and where it is defined. If you see its class name it's remote web driver okay so that's mean remote web driver is an class which is implementing the web driver interface which is implementing the JavaScript executor also okay so that's mean this JavaScript executor which we have seen as an interface and it has a method get screenshot s so this method get screenshot s is implemented in remote web driver and remote web driver is uh, you know uh, like it is a class which is implementing this interface so this is one fact okay the another fact is that driver which we are using here the driver okay it is an object of the remote web driver this one at the top I'm sorry it is an object of the Android driver okay but this Android driver does not have that get screenshot method so so that this driver can look into this method what I have done I have cast this driver into the interface of take screenshot because basically if you see that my Android driver okay if I click on that my Android driver is extending something wait it's extending APM driver okay and if I click on that my APM driver is extending default genic web mobile driver and if I click on that, if you see the default Genic mobile driver is extending remote web driver. So here the remote web driver come into picture. Okay. So basically if you see that my driver is a child of a remote web driver. Okay. But it is not able to see the method which is get screenshot which is in remote web driver. Because why? The reason is the class which I have mentioned here is Android driver. So all those classes which are there in Android driver you know my driver is able to see that at point of time but it is not able to see get screenshot so that's the reason we have done a typecasting of that okay here and we have called this method and uh, we have just asked that you know we can get the output in a file format okay and then we, from the file we have just converted into the jpg format so that's it this is for screenshot similar thing which we have uh, learned in the selenium we are doing exactly the same thing in apm all right. Thank you for watching.